Last time on Common Sense Soapbox, Bob went to the future by accident and had to take a trip to the hospital, only to discover that in this supposed utopia, healthcare still isn't free. What's the deal with that? Find out on this exciting new episode of Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the Future. It's absolutely insane that you still have to pay for health care. This is the future. I thought you people were supposed to be enlightened and advanced. Look, I get that a lot of the books and movies from your time led you to believe that there wouldn't be money in the future, but it's called science fiction for a reason. Obviously, we have way more awesome stuff than you had back then, and none of the necessities like healthcare and food cost us much today, but abundant and infinite aren't the same thing. You can't just wish away scarcity. Aw oh, man, you're telling me that even with all this, you still have limited resources? Well, yeah. One thing that's never really changed is that people have pretty much infinite wants. No matter how good we get at creating more robots, cars, houses, food, computers, and whatever else we need with the resources we have, people keep dreaming up new ideas and want to make things we haven't even thought of yet. Like taco-flavored ring pops. No, we have those. Plus, limited material resources isn't the only kind of scarcity. We're also going to have limited knowledge. <laughs> Not me. And limited skills. Nope. Okay, fine, but even you have to admit you have limited time. Yeah, well, so do you, so I still win. The point is, we still need to know if we're using our time and resources effectively. So we need a way to measure value and pass that information on to other people. That's what money and prices are for. But we can talk about that later. Ugh, do we have to? Scarcity also means we have to deal with trade-offs. The materials that go into making that robot Ooh. dog can't also be used to make a spaceship at the same time. A spaceship? You mean you finally invented space? Uh, sure, Bob. But look, do you know what opportunity cost is? I know, I know. When I'm watching TV instead of learning how to hypnotize chickens, that's an opportunity cost. Uh, I... sure, technically, yes. All the things that you could be doing instead of whatever you're doing right now is your opportunity cost. It's up to you to decide what's worth more to you. Maybe watching TV is more important than hypnotizing chickens. Until the chickens hypnotize you! Could they do that in your time? There was no proof they couldn't. Wow. So if I understand this right, we need to pay that doctor because his time, knowledge, and resources are all scarce. Yep. But how exactly does money help him with that? Scarcity doesn't just go away because you paid somebody. Of course not. But it helps him figure out what he should expend his limited resources on. What if he spent all day treating scraped knees instead of Flagnar's syndrome? Fla... what? Oh, right. Uh, okay. What if he tried setting up a hospital somewhere totally uninhabited? Like the moon? Oh, we colonized that. I was thinking more like Portland. If he set up a clinic in a place like that, he wouldn't have anyone to treat. And the fact that he wouldn't get paid would be a really good sign that he should move his clinic somewhere else. Or at least find some other way of creating value for people. I'm listening. Darling, you must explain this in a way that the simple fellow can comprehend. Young man, we want to do as much as we can with as few resources as possible. And we want to make sure that what we're doing with those resources is actually valuable. That's what prices are for. The more people want to have something, the more they're willing to pay for it. And higher prices tell the people who own or make those goods and services that they should produce more of them and bring them to the places and people who want them most. Wow. Gee, MOs have come really far. What the chicken said! We have a lot of stuff to go around, sure, but we still have to economize it somehow. Economize? That sounds suspiciously like budgeting. That's basically what it is. But it helps everyone lead better lives. It's pretty liberating once you get the hang of it. Well, I'm still confused and I don't like it. You're in luck. Someone here can explain it better than me. Hooray! What will happen to Bob? Will this museum of holograms be boring? Is he ever going to escape lectures on economics? Find out on the next installment of Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the Future!